In this video, we will see how to create a new recipe. So first, we have to go to Analytics Studio. Then we have to click on Data Manager, and then on the Recipes, then there is a button for New Recipe. We will just click that button. Then we will move to next screen. That is recipe select the input data so input data will be nothing but a data set so i will just click on add input data So now as you can see all the data sets are there if i click on this uh, then you can see we have a crm analytics external salesforce so crm analytics data sets are there external connected objects are there and salesforce objects are also there if you want to uh, see a specific thing about crm analytics data sets then you can check that and remove other two click on done uh, then you will get all the data sets which are created in crm analytics so once we hit this, so we have to select uh, the data set on which uh, we want to transform data or create a recipe on. Then these are the number of uh, columns which are there. So if you want all columns, then it will give us the all columns. If you want custom columns, which we define, then it will give the custom columns. You can search the columns accordingly and select it and select it according to your use case and then we hit next button so the node has been created or uh, the input data has been created now i hit and then if we want uh, to transform the data uh, and if we want to filter the data on some uh, it's like so if we want to apply some filters on this data we can apply it from here like if the account type So only show the data where account type is equal to custom so in this manner uh, we can apply filter and apply this filter so we will get all the dtc opportunities out of that we will get all the dtc opportunities where account type is equal to custom then if we want to do some aggregate operations then we we can aggregate on that basis of some of the amount Number precision up to 18. Uh, this scale is zero. So the sum of amount is this. Now, if we want a count, we can select count, and in that count, we want opportunity uh, industries. So how many industries are there? So there are 487 industries. In the same way. If you want to do any type of aggregate operation, so there are some aggregate operations which are available. That is unique, some average count, maximum, minimum. Uh, the this I am not very aware of, like uh, standard dev, P, standard dev, and DV, VRP, VRP, or VR might be uh, in the next video. Uh, we can talk about that. Uh, so this is the general aggregate operations which you use. So remove it then once we you once we aggregate on something then we can have uh, group the group the rows and group the columns so we can hit cancel and then we have uh, the job. so if you want to join this particular data with any other data then we can apply the join or we can use the join and we can connect with another data set so in this example we will take opportunity Okay. So if there is some something common between them, uh, between them, then it will appear. So it is loading. So there are six problems. 
out of which we have selected 50. So now what type of join you want like lookup then we have uh, left join so it will include all res uh, sorry. it will include all rows from recipe data and only matching rows from opportunities including all matching rows when multiple matches form same in the right row uh, right join it will include all from opportunities and only matching data from recipe so in the inner join it will include all matching records from recipe data and opportunities and in outer join it will include all the data from recipe and from opportunities cross join in cross join the left data set can't have more than eight columns in a cross join the right data set can't have more than eight columns so we have more than eight columns that's the reason we cannot apply this uh, particular join so we will just i will just hit look up so opportunity name just hold on so account type will be equal to this account type i will apply so now this is our first join which will join all the opportunities all the opportunities which are which are filtered in this and which are having uh, this particular lookup field that is account, uh, opportunity name uh, opportunity account type is equal to account type so, okay i will apply this now the main thing is about output so we we have now two data sets and now we are we, we all means like uh, two data sets will uh, will means like two data uh, from we will filter out the two data sets and we will be creating a new data set so data set display name will be fill filtered opportunity my private app testing app and then I will apply save and run this so the recipe name is So you can name it accordingly so you will be aware of like why this data set has been created you can use the description so now we will go back in the data job monitor queue so this filtered opportunity now it is running if you want to see the status like how many so this is pending input node this is also input node so some transformation is there and then we will get the output node so now this job is running we can check the status so this has been successfully completed so this these are the how many rows were in and how many rows were out if there is a difference there might be some rows are failed due to some uh, operations or some data issue so in this manner we can like uh, create data set a filter data set or you can say uh, a, a filter or a data set which we want according to the business requirement or business use case that we can filter out on the basis of doing some uh, applying some uh, filtration or transformation to that particular uh, to the data sets and then we are getting a finalized data set out of it so it is almost completed i think so so this many records were in and after transformation this will record suffice for filtration and all that stuff which we are having this is a refresh button you can check it 
again and again and yeah, then you will get oh fine so the data set has been created successfully now we have to go to data assets so this there is a new data set which we created it will be here so. so this is a filter opportunity data set which we have recently created so now we have that data set on top of that now we can create lenses to explore more about this data set so there is a exploration button if you click on that explore you can explore about that data set and uh, you can create dashboards to visualize what is there in the data set lenses to explore it so it's a lens you can now explore more about what is there in that particular data set and then you can show the dashboards um, uh, you can subscribe uh, multiple people to this particular dashboard or this census accordingly you can share uh, this da data set with another another users via app so that's all about how we can create a recipe or how we can uh, filter the or transformation of a record so thank you